Hi right, guys and girls, James Morrison, James Social Cycling. How are you all doing again on this Sunday morning? Welcome to part three of the bicycle chain. Uh, this is obviously part three of three. And I just thought I'd show you. So here we have a uh, finish line. So we have uh, two different lubes. So this is the wet and the dry lube. And then across here, we then have muck off again two different lubes you've got the wet and the dry then you've got squirt chain lube this is a wax and water emulsion lube so it utilizes the wax and then you've got wend wax on chain wax which is a wax only and just to bring me on to the ending just so you can see so you can see it's not the same wax the giveaway will be the Wend chain wax kit. So hold out to the end and I will tell you about that then. So, so today I just wanted to bring you, um, I've got, I've not got the bike out. There's no bike, no bike today. What I've done is I've utilizing my cassette tool and a couple of bits of chain just to show you how to apply and I just wanted to explain some very simple things about the lube itself. So you have two main differences in lube. You've got the wet and the dry. So obviously winter wet conditions, you would use the wet weather chain lube. What's the difference with that? It's a bit thicker. What's the bad thing about it? It picks up dust and grime. So in the winter, your chain will look uh, a lot more dirty. The dry loop is a lot thinner. You can kind of, you can kind of hear that. Um, and the great thing about this is that obviously it doesn't dirty your chain so much, but what it does do, it will wash off very easily and very quickly in wet weather. All right. Then you've got something like the squirt, which is the wax and water emulsion. Now this will last a lot longer um, in all conditions. Then you have the wax, the wax on chain wax. Now this is basically a wax. So you would, to apply this, you would bring this out like so. And then you would, you would turn the dial at the bottom to bring the wax out. And then what you would do is you would obviously turn the chain and then just rest that on the chain like so, which would then apply the wax along the top of that. And then what you would do, then you, then what you would do after that is you would then sort of rub the wax in to then try and make sure that it gets into all the chain links where it is needed. All right. So that is the wax. So taking the wet loop, the difference with this is, is what you would do is just drop it on and you can see how sort of sludgy that is. Would have helped if I'd have pointed it at it. And then you can see the dry loop Again, this is just a little bit, but you can see how sort of wet that was. And if I, I can actually show you this. And to show you the squirt, it's obviously a little bit thicker, but you would then drop it on like so. And that people is how you would apply the lube as well. So you would be expected, instead of running this along the top of the chain, what you would do with this is, is you are to go across dropping blobs along the top. And that is, and that is what you would do with both wet and dry. Lou.
okay so so as promised um, part three hopefully you got something out of that uh, not a very exciting fun videos but very informative all right so hopefully you'd have got plenty of information out of those three videos you can turn the wheel and squirt that along the top of the chain if that's what you want to do as a quick measure but doing it link by link which takes a lot more time will mean that you're um, getting the lube in the right place you're not squirting it everywhere so then you haven't got the issues of um, getting everything wet and dirt so then everything will get wet and dirty but it'll just give you that point and you won't waste any of the lube as well all right right as usual excuse my hair um thank you very much as i said hopefully you've got some some wonderful information out of that even if there's snippets of that you know um if you've got any questions to do with any of these three parts then please ask them under the video and that'd be brilliant as i said to you your reward for one of you is to win this wax chain kit or the chain wax kit so in the wax kit you're going to get the wax on you've also got a wax off chain cleaner and you've got at the back of there and if you can see there is a rag in there as well um, this is not sponsored so this was purchased by myself this hasn't been used i've only just opened it just to turn them around just to turn the the, uh, the bottles around so then you can see that excuse my hair bob anyway so um 30 i think it's just under maybe 30 quid all right, so it's not a bad price and it gives you a chance to try out the wax on your chain, all right? So, as I said, there is three questions for your chance to win and I want you to comment down below this video, all right? I will be choosing the winners from this video. I will run, uh, what day are we, so it's Tuesday. So next Tuesday, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, I will run a, um, YouTube comment picker and it will as long as you've got the three questions correct then it will pick a winner so question one from part one what was the make of the quick link that I used question two from part two what was the make of the cleaner I used or the degreaser I used sorry so what was the make of the degreaser I used? And question three from this video, name one of the makes that I showed you from the wet loop. Rewind that back if you didn't get all the three. Comment down below. Thank you, uh, thank you very much, mate. Just, just comment the answers, one, two, and three and I will pick them out in a week's time and send you your free gift for, to the winner. Thank you very much. Hopefully, as I, as I said again, I'll say it again, hopefully you got something out of this. If you've got any questions about it, just let me know. And um, yeah, thank you very much for your support, guys. And I will, don't forget, like, subscribe, and hopefully I will see you on the road very soon.